Hello, this is Cynthia in the TLC, and in this video, I'll talk to you about the upgrade to the Blackboard Assignment Tool, and specifically the new service hosting student submissions and the difference that will occur in how you annotate student submissions. So currently, um, it's November 2017, and currently we still have this Crocodoc um, hosting service that hosts all the student submissions through this the assignment tool and we'll be upgrading to a new service called the box view um, so currently this is the this is what we see um, using crocodoc we have several different kinds of comments we can make this box so I created a box and then uh, made a comment that's called an area comment this red image here is a point comment it's called yeah point comment and you just kind of click in one area and then you get this bubble out to the side with the um, area you just highlight or you know make a marquee around an area and the comment comes over on the side as well and then these blue um, comments are text comments that you can you can uh, place right on the document of an assign of a submitted assignment that's using the crocodile tool Okay, so now I'm going to, I've, I've configured the new service on our test server, and I just want to give you an idea of what that looks like. So here we are in the test service, this, the test server, and let's just take a look. So theoretically, there are a lot of different um, formats that can be displayed in this new service, and I just assume that Pages, um, the, the Mac Office suite, would be displayed, but unfortunately it's not. Um, and I'll show you a list of those in a moment that are displayed. Okay, so that one you would still have to download and so on. Um, the next one is an RTF, which you could not display in Crocodoc, but you can display in Box. All right, so it looks a little bit different. The, the Box logo is, is kind of prominent here on the left-hand side. Let's see, I'm going to close some of this so you can maybe get more a little more real estate. Okay, so you can see the box logo here. On the right side is the box toolbar. Now here's the thing with the RTF. I realized I can view it, but I can't comment because normally there's a speech bubble here and that's what you click on to make a comment in the new service. But the next version is a, just a regular Word document. So um, to make a comment on the paper, you're going to click this kind of speech bubble. And it's a point annotation, um, so we can no longer do the area annotation where you placed a marquee around a certain content and then had the, none of the speech bubbles on the side will appear anymore. Um, and you can no longer do the text comments, okay? It's just the point. After you click this um, icon, you get a message that says click anywhere to add your comments. So I'm just going to click below the text and you'll see this speech bubble. And so you enter your comments in this text box. Okay, um, and so then just click post. Okay, if you needed to um, add to that post, you can you can just roll your mouse over the icon and continue posting. Or if you needed to delete this particular um, comment, you can just click the um, trash can and click delete. Okay. Another way you can add comments is if you say, for example, I just highlighted this word and a toolbar will appear. So I could highlight, actually highlight that word. Okay, and then I could also insert a comment related to that. Okay. okay. Oops. And post. Okay. So you can just highlight. The only thing about highlighting is you're never sure whether there is a comment. In addition to the highlighting, so you have to actually place your mouse, the student will also have to do that, place their mouse over the highlighted area to see if there's a comment. Whereas if you just did the comment itself, um, this icon appears. And so they'll know um, that it's clear that there is a comment. Okay. okay, so highlighting, there might or might not be a comment in addition to the highlight. But this tech, this little icon definitely means that there's a comment there. All right, and remember to delete a comment. You'll just click that, that trash can next to that. Okay, so that's how to place comments um, in the document itself. Of course, on the grading panel, you have the in general feedback to learner. So and then you just place your grade. Okay, and submit. 
So that's all there is to um, to grading a, an assignment in the new um, hosting service of the Blackboard Inline Grading. Okay, um, one thing to notice is there are many more um, file formats that can be displayed in the inline grading, but not necessarily, you won't necessarily be able to annotate them. Okay, so for example, an RTF, rich text format document, um, in Crocodoc, you, you couldn't even view that document. Well, now in Box, you can view it, but you still can't comment on it. Okay, so, um, you know, while viewing, you could provide all your comments in this, this feedback box, or, you know, if you want to download it and actually edit it or comment on it in Word, you could do that and then upload it again. But, um, so there's a, a chart at the end of this video that displays the file types that you can view um, as opposed to the file types that you can annotate. All right, so look for that towards the end of this video. Okay, so I'm in the course as a student, and I'm going to go to My Grades. And so I'm going to look at that assignment that was just graded. I just click on the title of the assignment, and the document appears along with the grading, any grading notes. So notice this word is highlighted, so I'm just going to double or click on the word, the highlighted word, and the, um, the comment box appears, and I could read the comments there. Um, it, it looks like a student can enter a comment here, but when, you, when I practiced this, when I tr tested this, and then clicked post, the comment doesn't appear at all. So I don't know if that's a little glitch going on just now, or we're on a test server, this is on a test server. Um, so it could just be a, a result of that right now. But anyway, so you, students can't actually comment on the paper or respond to the comments instructors made. Um, so again, that wasn't clear that there was a comment because it was highlighted. I actually had to click on it to find out if there was a comment, and yes, there was. Um, or, But this um, icon here definitely means that there is a comment for students to read. So this is what it looks like from a student's point of view. And I just wanted to um, um, kind of show again for that assignment, because the instructor made a comment in that overall feedback to learner in the grading panel, that's why I see this icon, this blue speech bubble here. If I just clicked on that, I would see that overall feedback that they provided, but not the actual comments from the paper. All right, so that speech bubble only indicates feedback in that grading panel feedback box, but you actually have to click on the assignment um, name and then um, roll your mouse over any um, speech boxes or click on any highlighted word to see if there are comments associated with that. That's the student view of the new inline grading process. Um, also notice that there is a printer icon uh, for both the instructor and the student and, and a download icon on the box toolbar here. Um, but know that that only allows you to print the document. It won't print the comments associated with the document. Um, and if you download the document also, it won't download any comments associated with the, with the document. All right, so, All right, so um, that's a preview of what's to come. And we'll make this change after the end of the semester before you come back in January. Um, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the TLC. Thank you.